fighting. It's time to go up a size. This is the biggest, biggest, the biggest. This is the biggest. Our biggest show. The big show. With Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue, and Keezy. Yo, good day, you mad bastards. It's great to have your company this Friday afternoon, the 17th of March, 2023. And you, my friends, are listening to the big show, Hoodie J. Minogue. Yo, Keezy, Keezy, you mad, mad bastard. <laughs> great to have your company wherever you are on this magnificent St. Paddy's Day. And Minogue is always looking sublime, mate. I reckon. How yeah, good. Yeah. So good. Keys at this over here, keys. Yeah, look at him. And his yeah. tight. I just want to paint a picture. I want to paint a picture. Uh, tight white tee. Lovely tight black pants. Beautiful. Oh, there's a zipper down there. Uh, big belt buckle and white sand shoes. Keezy, like a rainbow um, jacket. A, a pristine white t shirt with some sort of car thing or something on it and it's yeah. got a high performance carburation oh on yeah, shirt. yeah 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 not a not a mark on it no, fresh out the old laundry ironed yeah I've never I don't seen know, I've, never I've never seen someone iron t-shirts before no I know hey, but Keezy. to be fair he doesn't iron he said his missus he makes yeah, his yeah, did yeah, I say yeah, which, which is a bit rough uh, Keezy St. Patrick's Day mate you're six Guinness deep uh, how you feeling mate top of the morning to you I think you mean top of the world. Oh, top of the world to ya. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. Is that racist? I don't know. <laughs> no, is well, it? I think so. Yeah, I would yeah. have thought so. Well, to be sure, Maldi, to be sure. You? Yeah. yeah, you can't do, you can't do white people. Oh, really? Can't yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, far yeah, out. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Right, yeah. I'm part Japanese as well. What does that mean? Yeah, no good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. By yeah, the way, good. I just want to let everyone know that Jace just sculled an entire Red Bull. Yeah, look, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I'm I'm real deep in a panic attack right now, <laughs> uh, but that's okay. You know, I've been there before. Uh, I'll just work my way through it. But what I want to know is, to all the people out there, is anyone doing anything special on St. Patrick's Day? Have you got a bit of a mission? you got a bit of a party together? Text us 3483. What are your plans for St. Patrick's Day? In the meantime, let's kick off with a bit of basement jacks. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Basement Jacks there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Friday afternoon. For those of you who care, 87 without loss, New Zealand. Losing the toss on a green top at the uh, Basin Reserve there. But no pain, no... uh Infliction of injury yet, mate. Yeah, thank you. No, yeah, looking very pretty good. good out there, you got to say. And old Conway and Latham got the uh, the game safely by the scruff of the old Bullors. No, I tell you what, um, just speaking of St. Patrick's Day at the moment, the party's going off in the Hodaki offices. It's actually been a while, Mogi, since I've seen a good party going on in, um, in the offices there. And I noticed as I came into work today, old Pugs and Keezy, they were deep in it when I arrived. And that was at about... Half past 11, quarter to 12. Yeah, it's a shame. Keezy's got a hold of Pugs now. He's leading them astray there, leading them down the old garden path there, <laughs> swaying and swaggering and sort of leering all over the joint. Couple of piss hounds. It's disgraceful. Yeah, it's not good. Hey, Keezy, what are the people saying on 3483? Wouldn't you like to know? Nah, just joking, Jace. <laughs> uh, here's a text from Adam. Plans tonight are quiet. Uh, tomorrow, though, stag do, so I'm going to get keezy once again, well, you're doing a stag do tomorrow. It's not your stag do, is it? I don't think so. There's no Adam, I don't think. Right, okay. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, g'day, fellas. Off to an Irish pub in Christchurch trying to get absolutely keezied, as keezied as my Irish ancestors were. Right, okay. Yeah. You big on the old St. Pat's Day back in the day, Mogi? Yeah, when I used to uh, have a few beers, I'd uh, always get out there and... Uh, Get maggoted and puke all over the place like I was keezy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I think it's sort of got a little bit less of a, an attraction once you're not drinking. Yeah, it does a little bit, it's, doesn't the it? The shine yeah. goes off it. I found out, and I want our listeners to know this, a remarkable fact today on our podcast. Minogi has never had a Guinness in his life. That's true. Um, wow. Because he considers it a foul and disgraceful brew. But yeah. I, I was genuinely surprised From to a hear that, mate. people. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, just on that, we just lost a wicket, by the way. Yeah, it's either Conway or Latham out. But listen, got a bit of history about St. Patrick, uh, the saint there, which we'll be getting into next, fellas. Keep those texts coming, 3483. If you're out and about with a party or if you're having a bit of a party in your workplace, let us know. Let's get in the Friday mode. Why not? Ah. Bit of Foo Fighters for you. The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at 4 on Radio Hodaki.
Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, bugger. Come sorry, on. everyone. Sorry, sorry. It's a bit pre ejaculative there. Uh, the Foo Fighters on the radio. Hodaki Big Show. What are the texts saying, uh, fellas? 3483. Yeah, a lot of texts coming in. Uh, most of them are about St. Patrick's Day, guys. Uh, heading up to the Kaipata Tavern down State Highway 16 to see the D4 tonight. Oh, yeah, nice. Got to oh, light it up. Yeah, so good. good. Yeah, Saw very them good. In Sydney many years ago. Bloody good they were. What about this one as well? Uh, Dave and me old mate Scotty just completed two stages of the As- Able Tasman Great Walk. Getting ready to go get keysied on the Guinness at Smuggler's Pub in Nelson. Oh, oh. very nice. Aye, nice. very nice. It's actually quite, you know, it is St. Patrick's Day. It's quite a rich history, old St. Patty, doesn't he? Uh, Mogi. Oh, he does. Quite the history. Well, it's amazing that he's sort of, um, he's lasted as long as he has because there's many, many saints, Jase, many who are sainted and then we never hear from them again. Indeed. Um, and yet, St. Patrick. Um, he actually lived in the 5th century. Yes, he did. So it's a couple of hundred years ago now. Um, and he was brought to, from memory there, he's brought to Ireland as a slave um, from Britain. He was. Young fellow, he's only 15, 16, something, somewhere around there. Yes. Um, and he sort of made friends with the Irish. Um, joined the IRA in the end. Yes. And wow. went back to Ireland and stole a pot of gold. From the Queen Yeah the monarchy He's only a, only a little fella tiny, yeah, yeah, yeah. Only a tiny little fella Had a little top hat With a buckle on it Yeah yeah That was how they knew It was him And a little ginger beard Because he seriously And he'd go Fiddle dee dee Fiddle dee dee Oh really Yeah he was only about Four foot five Keezy He so was, he was oh, a little okay. bastard and, Yeah um, He was a real sawn off bastard Yeah yeah Right uh, And he had a hell of a job Just in terms of Stealing that gold Didn't he Oh he did Getting across the uh, The waters there What kind of gold was it Oh, coins, coins and sovereigns, a lot of oh, sovereigns. Right. Jewel- and a lot of jewellery too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but then, of course, all the Queen's horses and all the Queen's men were after him, you can imagine. Yeah, yeah, They don't totally. like it when people start thieving off old Queenie there. Um, so he hit it once he got back to Ireland there um, at the end of the rainbow. Yeah. Sorry, he just so- dug a hole there and buried it and he thought, sweet runner, I'll know where that is. Exactly. Not really keeping in mind that the end of a rainbow generally moves around a bit. Right. Did he- I think there's more than one rainbow too. Oh, yeah, you yeah. can get your double, your so tri- now he's sort of, triple rainbow. He's been quite busy, they reckon, ever since then. Um, every time there's a rainbow, he goes there and tries to find his pot of gold Is there. he still alive? Oh, you know, it's it's, it's become a, almost a fable. Oh, yes, right. yeah, yeah, you know, he yeah, lives yeah. on. Yeah, he does yeah, live yeah. on now, though, Keezy. You know, when you get maggoted tonight, that'll be St. Patrick there. Totally. Oh, did he used to get yeah. Keezy back in the day, did he? It was funny because, too, what a lot, you know, a lot of people don't realise is that often he couldn't find the gold. That's right. Uh, and so he was, he somehow was able to... Con- uh, Turn straw into gold, Keezy. He got one of those... Um, like weaving it into yeah, gold. Like it was like when a, you're, you're doing that thing on the machine Yeah, there. the little the loom. The wheel. The loomy, loomy yeah, number. Yeah, very good, yeah, Keezy. Well yeah. done. Yeah. So he w- it could Thank loom um, straw into gold, and he'd often do it to try and get with the ladies, you know what I mean? Right, yeah. okay. Um, but if they ended up turning them down, he'd stamp his little feet. Well, you and, remember... Uh, sort of go through the floor. Yeah, yeah. Because he was quite a hit with the ladies. Oh. Uh, well, and it was it, sort of a joke for them, you know? Yeah, yeah. And remember, there was there was one very famous Irish lady, I can't remember her name, used to have massively long hair that she'd put oh, yeah. down the side of the castle, and he'd go, Oh, hey, dude, dude, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. fiddly dee, fiddly, fiddly dee, and climb, yeah. climb up there and shag away. And go like, oh, like the clappers. Hell for leather, he like, did. Yeah, yeah. Like Rapunzel. Like that, but yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Like a, a, yeah, a little bit, I suppose. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But that was a fairy tale. This is this right. is a true story. Yeah, yeah. It's just that this is why he's such a legend, and that's this is why he's still celebrated today. Actually, all these all these years later, totally. do you know what I mean? It just feels uh, like. And I remember at one point he um, he what was it? He was a bloody talking frog there. He pashed that, and it yes. turned into a prince. Yeah, and he's like, "What are you saying? I am there, da douche, da douche, da douche." Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was quite the character, really, wasn't oh, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't yeah, want to get yeah. on his wrong side because he's shocker on the old on the old piss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The fire water. Yeah, yeah the fire water. Yeah, right. yeah. Are you sure this isn't just fairy tales? What? what this what? Has definitely happened with St. Patrick. Just well, see, it sounds why like don't you him. Google St. Patrick and see if he comes up? Well, yeah, I have. It's come up here, but it doesn't say anything about kissing a frog or Rumple Stilts getting any like hay into gold or anything like that. Right. Okay. Keep reading, Keezy. There'll be a few pages on them. Yeah. It's not short, man. And you got to remember, you're six Guinness deep at the moment, so... Right. Can't believe what you're looking at, probably, Keezy. Yeah, it just says that he did something about 
getting rid of the snakes from Ireland or something. It oh, say- you did that as well, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well... Yeah, I mean, that's when it, things get a bit farcical, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, right, there yeah. are no snakes. Yeah, no, I was going right. to make that point yeah. myself, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, yeah. There's a sucker born every minute, Keezy. <laughs> <laughs> hey! 88 for one New Zealand. In the meantime, let's get into a bit of Dandy Warhol. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Oh, yes, indeed. The D4, the Asaki bomb on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Friday afternoon. The score, by the way, 105 for one New Zealand on a green top. So doing very well. Now, we have this amazing competition going at the moment. Three mates to State of Origin. It's an amazing prize where you and two mates get to go to State of, uh, state of Origin 2. Uh, you get flights, you get accommodation, you might get a bit of spending money, you fellas. Get travel insurance, travel transfers. insurance, oh, all of that. Travel stuff. insurance. Oh, it's so, so good. good. It's so good. And if you're a so Buck, good. Buck League fan, then this is this, this is, is like is. the ultimate prize. And when you go to Suncorp Stadium, which is, I mean, it is the mecca. Yes, for Buck League. But it's the mecca for State of O. For Buck League. I, mean, I'd say I, I, I would. Go, the, I would say for. Buckma League overall there, uh, Keezy. Really? Bigger than Leichhardt from Buckma Buck League? Main. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right. Um, and the nice thing about it too um, is that it's the second game, so the series is still open. Can you stop? Oh, that's um, the key, man. Yeah, that's that, the key. You yeah, don't want to go to a... Um, dead rubber. Yeah, to a dirty rubber. Yeah, yeah, no, it's totally. Got, it's a dead rubber. But you could, you could either see uh, one side draw up the series or you could see one side win the series. Imagine that. Well, obviously, Keezy, it's stating the absolute obvious there. Stating the O? Obvi- so if you love your rock belly, and you love just travelling in general, you want to have a bit of a hoolie with your mates overseas for a couple of nights, because you can do the leg. There's plenty of other stuff you can be getting into too while you're over there, of course. Don't you worry about it. I can only imagine what old Keezy... We get up to over there for a couple of nights. Think of the shopping, Dale. Oh, think of the malls they've got over there. It's a keys. great outlet mall yes. over there. Actually. Oh, yeah, so good. Yeah, it's it where you good. buy all your fluoro pink jackets, isn't it? You sicko. So if you want Maybe. to get involved in that, listen. Give us a call right now. I'll on say this Alec. about Keezy though: when yeah. it comes to the shopping, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, no, you. that's okay, mate. He's always got a nose for a deal, oh, hasn't he? <laughs> Absolutely. Pugs, five dollars in the jar, please, what? mate. What? Oh, eight hundred. Hodaki, give us a call right now if you want to get in that draw. Yes, Keezy. All thanks to boystrip.co.nz. Yeah, man. Oh, the Arctic monkeys. Yeah, yeah. The Hodaki Big Show podcast. State of origin. New South Wales have won it. Radio Hodaki's three mates to the state of O. Let's put another great New Zealander in the draw. Oh, yes, indeed. Let's get a couple or maybe even three. There's a hell of a tune from the Arctic Monkeys, isn't it, fellas? Got me, tune. It got me massively into the Friday groove, actually. I've got to be honest with you. Teddy picker, teddy picker. So good. Hey, Bob from Macedon. How's life, you mad bastard? Yeah, good. You stick out. Yeah, good on you, mate. What do you do for a crust, Bog? Let me guess you're a driller. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah oh, Bog only texted in. Apparently he's wearing a G-banger. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, good on you. Massive backbone. Hey, do you love a bit of rugby league there, Bog? Yeah, I love a bit of rugby league. Yeah, yeah, yeah good on you. And, and have you got two mates you can take with you, Bog? Yeah, I've got two mates. I've got a couple mates. Probably yeah, got two. Yeah, good on and, you, Bog. And who are you going for, the Maroons or the Blues? Queenslander all day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, same, 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 same. What a great news for you, my friend. You're in the draw, right? Cheers, lad. Good on you, Good mate. On you, Have mate. a great yeah. Friday. Janine, you mad bastard. How's life? Yeah, g'day, guys. How's it going? Yeah, good, thanks, yeah, mate. Good, 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 good. Hey, what do you do for a tr- uh, crust, Janine? Um, I cut grass. <gasps> oh, <laughs> backbone. backbone! Good on you, mate. Hey, uh, love mm-hmm. a bit of rugby league, uh, Janine? Rugby league. Oh, definitely, definitely. And who do love you it. run with, the uh, Maroons or the uh, Blues? Oh, the Blues. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same, same, yeah, same, 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 I definitely, same. definitely go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Janine, um, where to win this amazing prize? Who are you taking with you? Uh, well, I'd have to take my hubby. Yep. And then the third seat would be up for auction. Oh, probably. good on you, mate. Actually, that's what you yeah. want to do. Yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely the thing to do, to auction it off. Um, see what you can get out of it, for yeah. sure. Well, I'll tell you what, Janine, um, you're in the draw too. How does that sound? 
That's awesome. Thanks very much, guys. No worries, no worries. mate. Hold hey, the line. Yeah. Have a good week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, Janine. Yeah, yeah. You too. What, yeah. What's your plan tonight? Um, we are going to sit down and listen to the ACC. Oh, um, yeah. Good on you. Watch the, you know, watch the, the bit of yeah. Oh, yeah. Watch, union. watch a bit of the, yeah, yeah, the, the union, and then watch a little bit of the NRL. Oh, yeah. 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 Roosters. Yeah. Rabbitohs, big game. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, it is a very big game tonight. Yeah. I don't know if I'll make it to the end, though, because I've got to go to work tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Massive backbone. Stay on the line, mate. Uh, and our uh, good mate Pugs in Studio B will sort you out. No worries at all. How good, eh, fellas? Oh, really good, so man. good, man. State of O. So Try time. I wish my... Swish. Swish. No, that's basketball. Poof. Go! That's basketball as well. That's football. Big Show Podcast. It's the Horaki Big Show's Friday Throbber. Yeah, welcome back, you mad bastards. Great to have your company this Friday afternoon. The Friday Trubber Boys. Trubber, How trubber, are we feeling about trubber. it? Yeah, good, man. It's like the main thing trubber, is competing, trubber. giving everyone a good opportunity, and then Keezy. It's all sad sack. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I haven't lost yet. The scores, though, are Mike Minogue, two. Keezy, two. Producer Pugs, two. Jace. How many have you got, Jace? One, man. <laughs> hey, but I think it's your turn to kick us off today, Oh, yeah, Keezy. kick us off, Keezy. Oh, just quickly, how does it work, though? I forgot how oh, it works. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, listen, if you're just listening to the Friday Throbber for the first time, the idea is we each pick a song. Uh, and the idea of the song has got to be a Friday throb and a kick off your yeah, Friday it's afternoon. It's got to really pump and get you in the mood for your Friday night and your weekend. Then you give us a call on 0800 Hodaki. The first of two votes wins the Friday throbber, basically. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's correct. You want me to get us underway with a big tune? Go on, then. Mm hmm. Shooby dooby doo. Just remind you, I live by. Uh, it is St. Patrick's Day, by the way. Cool. What are you going with, Wait for the drop. Wait oh. for the drop. Wait for the drop. I'm but my love. Tingle, 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 tingle. Yeah. Derpy, derpy, That's the pose. Derp. Dirty old town there. Ah, uh, here you go, boys. Very similar theme. Tunes that shipping out to Boston. Yeah, man. Oh. Rockkick Murphy. Yeah. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Oh, yeah? Before we do mine, breaking news. Oh, my goodness. Jesus. This is breaking news. Unfortunately, Jace will be ineligible for this week's robber as I'm shipping out to Boston has already been used in a previous edition of... The throbber. It was by Patty's Keezy. <laughs> You're sitting this one out there, brother. <laughs> hey, Jace, 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 Jace. <laughs> but wait, but what? No, no, fair enough, fair enough. If it's been used, but get, just give it another twirl then. Since did you win? Yeah, no? I won. I won St. Patrick's Day last yeah. year. Oh, okay. Yeah. With that one, yeah. With that exact song. Hey, oh. uh, but here's my one. <laughs> oh, it's a tune. Irish as well, out of Boston. Hey, oh, 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 oh. Dance, dance, dance. Okay, hang on. Yeah, oh, well, you don't to make any rules, mate. Oh, pack it up, pack it in. Let me begin. I can not win, battle me. That's a sin. Yeah, oh, it's a tune. There yeah. you go. So you got two options. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Keezy or Minogio, give us a call right now on 0800 Hodaki. In the meantime, let's get into a bit of David Bowie. The Hodaki Big Show podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. It's the Hodaki Big Show's Friday Throbber. Yes, well, a bit of controversy. Hoyt uh, has been disqualified. Pick, uh, chose a song already used. It's Fair actually our first, our first official disqualification. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. 
Way to Our go, Our first Hoyt. official one. Yeah. Just so people yeah. are aware, Jace chose a fantastic song, actually, Dropkick Murphys, yes. shipping out to Boston. Hey, I just want to put it forward, just because... Uh, not in this situation here. I'm, I'm, I'm out. There I'm out. There we go. Um, you are. Are you out, are you? But that we wipe the slate every year. Nah. Because we nah, there's a just, lot of songs. Then you just end up playing the same song every 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 year. Do you want yeah, him to unlock true. all those Rage Against yeah, the Machine? Yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Hey, um, so, <laughs> by the way, the Cricket 118 for one. Keezy, you went for... Robber. 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 Dirty old town by the Pogues because uh, it's St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. And uh, Minogi went with... Douche, douche, douche. <laughs> I do like that tune, actually. I'm quite jealous yeah, of that. That's a tune. That is a tune. And I Jace... Like we, I feel like we've played Jace that went before. four. Um, <laughs> just give it a whirl anyway, because okay. I, I can't win. All right, here it is. <laughs> just give it a whirl anyway because I can't win. All right, you're fine. <laughs> just give it a whirl anyway because I can't win. Ah, oh, fine. <laughs> All right. Yeah, right, there you go. Good tune. Uh, hey, Paul from Christchurch, you mad bastard. How's life? Yeah, good fellas. Yourself? Yeah, good. Thanks, yeah, good, Paul. Thanks, good, Paul, good, mate. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, are you, what are you up to tonight, Paul? What's the plans, mate? No, I'll go out and have a few Guinnesses. Oh, yeah, good yeah, on you, mate. Good on you, Paul. Well, who are you going with, Paul? Well, I've got to go after one and only Keezy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good on you, Paul. Good on you. Good on, good you, on mate. you, Paul. Good on you, Thanks, mate. mate. Have one for me tonight, mate. Good on you. Fiona, Backbone. how's life? Yeah, good boys. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Good, 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 good. What are you running with, Fiona? Um, it has to be House of Pain. House of, House of Punishment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good on you, mate. Yeah, good nice, on you. Yeah. Hey, what are your plans tonight, Fiona? Uh, watching a bit of sports and, yeah, getting ready for the weekend. Oh, good good, good on, on you, mate. Yeah, good on you. Good on you. Good on you, mate. Yeah. Hayden, you mad bastard. How's life? Oh, it's amazing, fellas. Yeah, that's good, mate. That's good. What are you doing, uh, Christchurch, Hayden? Uh, for, like, a job? Yeah. Uh, uh, Carpenter. Yeah. Oh, backbone, yeah, backbone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah backbone. Hey, uh, <laughs> who are you running with, Hayden? Oh, as much as I'd love to give it to you, old Hoity, it's going to have to be old Keezy. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keezy with the Keezy in the lead. Keezy Woo! in the lead for yeah. the first time, I think, in the first history of the Robert. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe. Absolutely. This is exciting times, man. Oh, yeah. Very exciting times. Um, so shall we get into it, fellas? Yeah, man. Bit of the old, it. the old, the old wound. Actually, no. I might play Jace's uh, Jace's one instead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny when you do it five times in a row. Uh, uh, the Pogues, dirty old town. Robber, robber, robber. I'm but my love Why the gas works well Dreams a dream By the old canal I kiss my girl By the factory wall Dirty old town Dirty old town Clouds are drifting across the moon Cats are prowling on their beams Springs a girl from the streets at night Dirty old town Dirty old town
siren from the docks. The train set the night on fire. I smell the spring on the smoky wind. Dirty old town. Dirty old town. I'm gonna make me a picture by shining still, tempered in the fire. I'll chop you down like an old Dutch tree. Dirty old town. Dirty old town. I met my love by the gasworks wall. Dreamed a dream by the old canal. I kissed my girl by the factory wall. Dirty old town. Dirty old town, dirty old town, dirty old town. Oh, nah. Chain. Oh, oh, sorry, I'd nodded off. Oh, really? Dirty, dirty, dirty old, old steamer. In the, in the corner of the pub there with my pint there, just listening to that tune. Just, yeah. yeah. Got a face on him, doesn't he? Who's that? What's his name? Um, Shane McGowan. McGowan, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he 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 doesn't drink the old booze anymore. I don't think he's not in good shape. He's no, not in good shape. No. Johnny Depp shouted him a new set of teeth. So right. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good eating. It, it, hard, hard living life. That one. Yeah. Um, a few beers like that's what you'll be like in a couple of years, Keezy. Yeah, I think so. Will I be able to sing like that? You wish. You'll be like Shane McGowan without the talent. Right. I'll still have my teeth though. Right. Hmm. And we just lost another wicket, by the way, fellas. Uh, um, Conway oh, caught and bowled Conway. again. Conway. Straight back to the bowler. Actually, That's a diving two shockers. Catch. First the throbber and now this. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Uh, just letting everyone know out there once again the score for 2023. Minogue, two. Pugs. Two. It's producer Pugs, by the way, two. Me, three. Hoity Easy. J. One. Have you have you noticed, Mogi, how many times Keezy has said the score in about the last five minutes? Well, it's just because I three point it's about, Keezy's it's having a good day. Ten times. Yeah, he's a big fan. Look, let the guy have his moment in, his, yeah, in totally, the sun, is what absolutely. I would say to you, Jace. Yeah, I mean, oh, if, if there's one thing we know, um, luck runs out. Yeah. Um, and we know what Keezy's taste in music well, is. And, and I would remind you too, fellas, um, that last year I got off to a screamer. I was well ahead for a little while yeah. there, and then I got reeled in. Right. Uh, with, some, with some smash years in the end. shocking decisions from the punters out there. and uh, well, I think the problem's not so much the tunes that we choose, and it's the listeners. Yeah, generally I think that's the case. Well, but no sour grapes here, no, Keezy. No, no, Look, no again, right, you've done a great job there, man. Really? Um, he he like cool. No, no, look, you deserve the lead, man. You've earned it. And, uh, Thank you. Good on you, mate. Yeah, right. good on you. Hey. Hey, and on the bright side, the other thing I always think about is his wife at home. She's sighing a sigh, little sigh of relief there. Well, it, oh, just Keys on is that. not going to come home effing and jeffing and throwing punches through the wall. She just sent me a sweating face and <laughs> smiling face emoji. Really? Because uh, she always gets, she says to me, you know, she, Jace, I always get tense around five o'clock on a Friday because I go, oh God, please don't let Keezy lose this one. Oh, that's weird. That's the weekend. That's the weekend <laughs> absolutely ruined. Your wife just sent me yeah. an eggplant emoji and a peach emoji. What's that about? <laughs> Hodaki Big Show Podcast. The killer's there on the radio, Hodaki uh, Big Show, this Friday afternoon. Bit of drama at the old gym today, fellas. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Uh, oh, not, 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 not True story, this. True story. Um, not actually in the gym. There was no drama in the gym. Um, just went hard out as usual. Yeah, smashed the tin around. Yeah. Got all that stuff done. Booze, douche, 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 Yeah, yeah, we doosh. get it. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, You're on the cross trainer for a bit. So I'm coming out. Now, I've got, I've got to explain a little bit of a setup for you here because okay. there's two car parks at my gym. There's a car park right out, out in, sort of in front and in, in, by the front door. Oh, yeah. And there's another car park around the corner, which is a little more sort of discreet. And that's the one I always park in because I don't like... Otherwise, if people know Hoity J is going to the gym, I tend to get mobbed and stuff. Right. So I like yeah. to sort of hide behind the back there so that, you know, I can just go in there very quietly with my hoodie up and stuff yeah. like that. So I'm coming around the corner, right? Coming around the corner when and he I, comes. And I can hear these two dudes talking. Oh, yeah. Men. Uh, men, yeah, yeah, yeah. And very sort of, I, I was going to say hushed tones, but I could hear them. Oh, yeah. Can I, can I describe it as an urgent whisper? Oh, sure. So they're whispering Stage whisper. away. And then I come around the corner, right? Oh. And they immediately stop talking. Shh. Could and they you, look could you at make me. out anything they were saying? Not really. Uh. Just, just that it was urgent. Yeah. That it was kind. Of, there was a bit of intensity behind yeah, it. Yeah, sure. Um, so I come around the corner and they would stop talking. And as I looked across, they were standing. They had two parked cars. They were standing between the parked cars. And That's as I suspicious came, straight away. Yeah. Well, as I, as I came around the corner. That one of them was handing the other guy a package, I kid you not, a little box that was looked like it had been wrapped up in gaffer tape. Okay. Right. right. Gaffer. So it was heavily gaffered. Like yeah. gaffer or duct tape? Oh, duct tape. Yeah. And so it had duct tape all over it. And as soon as he passed it to the other guy, they stopped talking. They looked at me, and he dropped it down by the side as if to say, oh, no, there's no package here. Oh. Now, I want to make so the point. So that's actually more suspicious it's when you're trying sus- to hide it. When you're trying to hide it, Right. They were also two guys that go to my gym and are massive gym bunnies. Oh, yeah. You know, right. you, you know the guys. I mean, no neck, singlets. They're built like brick shit houses, but it's gym muscle. Oh, you know hot. what I mean? You know, so they're hot. So, But they're there all the time. Every time I go there, they're there. So there was obviously some They sort might of, think that every time they go there, you're there. Yeah, well, maybe. Maybe. Huh. But like... So they're massively into the gym, and I immediately knew what was going on, you yeah. know, because you and I, Mogi, I mean, we've been men there, of the world, we're, you know. Men of the world. And I went over there, and I was like, what's up, fellas? Yeah. Oh, I so you like, walked oh, up to them? Yeah, totally, mate, totally. And I said, what, what's up, fellas? Uh, and they were like, what are you talking about? No, nothing, mate, we're just, we're just hanging. You know, I was like, oh, yeah. Look, you've got two options here. Either Hoity J goes to the cops or you cut me in on the deal. Yeah. And then, like, these guys are like so, six foot five, six foot six. Wow, yeah. they're huge. You know, huge. They try to staunch old Hoity J out. You're joking. They give me the stare down. And I was like, boys, listen, let's just cut the shit here. <laughs> I've been through this. Me and my old mate, we were running drugs for years. So let's just cut the crap. Yeah. Because if I have to deduce you, I'll deduce you, <laughs> and then I'll get the cops in. Exactly um, right. So long story short, Hoity's got 25% of the merch coming. In. Yeah, good man. Uh, and on the plus side of that, three trips to the uh, three trips to the gym today. Damn good. Just bang, 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 Hoity J, smashing it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah How was, good. It was so funny, man. Them trying to staunch me out. Have you been? Have you Do been? Either you either want your kneecaps or you don't. What's it going to be, a hole? Yeah, t- you're just going to stand. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I can imagine Cooey. Uh, Cooey. Cooey. I can imagine Keezy Cooey. shitting himself in that. I mean, Keezy wouldn't even have approached him. I know you oh, would have, Mogi. God, yeah, yeah. Because no. he would have been like, oh, oh. oh but oh. you're more patient than me because I, I would have gone probably. Oh, yeah. I guess when I get into those sort of street fight situations, I'm kind of like Steven Seagal. Yeah. Um, around nineties and that, so I just sort of like snap arms, right. slam faces through windscreens, etc., etc. Yeah, um, then take the drugs and end with a cool one liner, you know. Oh, right. I should I should tell you before I left them, you know, after they gave me half, you know, twenty five percent of the merch, I broke one of their noses. Oh, just, good. You know, just for good measure, yeah. just to let right. them know. So you're in the wide nose gang. Yeah, yeah. Just gonna say, yeah. lucky they didn't break yours. That would take years to heal. <laughs> Because it's massive. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Yes, indeed, big there to round off the hour. Now, uh, on a Friday afternoon, we always ask what people's plans are for the night. Um, and I'm thinking St. Patrick's Day. Surely to God, Mogi, there's some parties going on that we could be invited to. A couple of brewskis. Um, yeah, yeah. Eat a few potatoes, chuck a few potatoes at cows and all yeah, that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Have some sure. mashed potatoes. Um, have some potato guatong. Potato chips? Um, no, not potato chips. Um, have some boiled spuds, some mashed spuds. Yeah, just totally. Or like a roast potato. No, nah. nah, not roast potatoes. 
Um, so if you are having some sort of St. Patrick's Day celebration, maybe you're all still at work and you want old Mogi and uh, Hoity J to come along. Yeah, we'll come down there and chuck some potatoes at yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, totally. 3483. <laughs> Give us a text and let us know. What are you up to tonight, Keezy? I can see you just because there's a party going on in the offices out in Radio Hodaki. You're just it's itching, isn't, isn't it? yeah. He's itching to get out there and get into it. Let me just say, as soon as seven o'clock rolls around, old Keys is going to be heading into the office there and running a muck. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be sweet. it's going to be a big weekend for you too because you got the you've got the stag, stag day tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's going to be old. Nasally snoz Keezy on Monday. Isn't oh, yes, it? he's going to be old fumble buttons Keezy. Yeah, yeah. I don't fumble the buttons, <laughs> do I? Text us, 3483, we'll get into that after six. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Yeah, welcome back, you mad bastards. Great to have your company this Friday afternoon. What are the people saying on 3483, Keezy? Uh, Yeah, there's a lot of texts coming in, 3483, about what they're up to for St. Patrick's Day. Just quickly, though, Jace, everyone that texts through goes in the draw to win BK vouchers. Yes. Today's burger of the day, the Crispy Chicken Supreme. Succulent chicken patty, crispy coating, cheese, lettuce, ketchup, and creamy mayo. It's back. At BK. Yeah, sounds good, huh. man. Sounds it. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they do a potato burger? Maybe. No, they don't, actually. You can put fries in your burger, though. I Thanks, tell you man. what, actually, I'm a big fan of, and this could be the Big Show BK burger. I'd love to have a, uh, a potato backbone. potato fritter in it. Oh, yes. You know what I'm saying? When It's been a while since I've had a potato fritter. I've Look at Keys, I've never one. heard of one. What the hell is a potato fritter? You've never had a potato fritter. I've never had a potato fritter. Have you ever oh. had a potato fritter? I've never had a potato fritter. Have you heard of a potato fritter? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've yeah, heard of them? Yeah, yeah, But yeah. you've never had one? No, nah, I've never had a right. potato fritter. But just yeah. think of it, you know, you got your, your beef there, your melted cheese, your lettuce, your onion, your, your pickles. Mustard. And a crunchy um, potato fritter in there. Yeah. A little bit of barbecue sauce, maybe some That's bacon in there as well. Aioli. Um, but yeah. an aioli in there, definitely. And maybe some onion rings. Lemon zest. If we do have a BK backbone burger... You don't know what a potato fritter is? No. I genuinely have never had one or seen one. Or heard of it. Or heard of... Well, no, I've heard of, of, I've oh, heard of heard it. Of it. Yeah, yeah, but I've, I've never... A potato I, fritter is sort of a layered... It's a. It's almost a process, but a potato, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah. And then it's uh, battered and deep fried. And sort of, sort of the size it's, of my girth. Well, that's sort tiny. of the girth of so my, like a chip, of like a my French fry. Muscle. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. yeah. About your calf, eh? Right. Yeah. yeah. Are you being serious, Keezy? Yes. You've never had I've a potato never had a fritter. fritter. That's as key, a, a potato fritter is as kiwi as apple pie. Oh, what? That's American. That is just madness. Okay. He's never had a Guinness. Actually, hey, pugs, go get my gun, man. <laughs> yeah, I've had enough. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. MGMT there on the radio, Hodaki uh, Big Show this Friday afternoon. I'm still reeling from the fact that Keezy's never had a potato fritter in his life. That's just next level. Hey, uh, but we didn't get to our texts in that last voice break there, Keezy. What are the, where are the invites for Mogi and Hoity J? Yeah, don't forget 3483 is the number. Also, don't forget it's St. Patrick's Day. So, naturally, all the texts coming potato, in. Potato, on... potato, potato. To be sure, to be sure, to be sure. Taties. Fiddle dee dee. Oh, oh, that's a bit racist. Racist there, Keezy. Come on, mate. Uh, a lot of texts coming in on 3483. Most of them are St. Patrick's Day based, though. So, oh, you guys. Well, obviously, it's St. Patrick's Day. All right. Today. And I specifically asked, given that it's St. Patrick's Day, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Uh, g'day fellas, not going out for St. Patrick's Day as I've got an early start tomorrow morning. Going to stay home and watch the Boondock Saints though. Oh yeah. Keen? Nah. Nah. Next. Right. Uh, my entire office is going out to the pub. It's called the Flying Irishman. We're having Guinnesses and Kilkenny's all night. You boys are most welcome. Oh, that's a very generous offer. Yeah, whereabouts? Uh, it's in Hamilton. That text has come from. Doesn't say who the person is though. Right. Nah. Nah. Right. Um... <laughs> Hey, it's Keezy here. Why don't we all just go out into the office and have some Guinnesses after the show and hang out as a show? That's from Keezy. No, all right. Uh, one last text here. Where's a good one? Where's a good one? Here's one. Here's one. Me and the boys knocked off work early today, fellas. Not going to lie. Been on the Guinness since 2 o'clock. If you think you can keep up, why don't you come along? It's from Richard. And We're about to what? Oh, take it all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have they got yeah. any potatoes? Potato, potato, potato. Could you text them back and ask if they've got any potatoes? 
I think they'll have potatoes. I mean, everyone's got potatoes. Wow. Well, well, sometimes they have potato famines. Well, not for ages, though. It hasn't been a potato famine in ages. The largest waterfall starts with a single drop, Keezy. <laughs> what? I. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Oh, yes, indeed. Garbage here on the Radio Hodaki Big Show this Friday afternoon. But right now it's time for... What's on the telly with Mike Minogue. Yeah! Yeah! (laughs) Yeah. Last night, I watched the second to last episode of The Last of Us. (laughs) Did you enjoy it? Loved it. Good, it's great. good episode. Yeah, oh, it is a good episode. True. She was all go, man. Yeah. Did you get the vibe from the guy straight away? Oh, it was a pretty clear vibe. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the thing Hoity J figured out, remember, at the oh, beginning of the week. You figured it out. <laughs> well, no, because he was quite he was quite convincing as as a genuine dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, no, but I knew he yeah, was foul yeah, to the core. Yeah, yeah. So the you know the guy who she grabbed the knife and hits that guy? Yeah. That is the guy who uh, voice acted and motion captured the original oh, Joel. Really? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, good episode, man. Looking forward to the last one. Yeah. Jace. I'm not looking forward to it. Oh. Uh, There's nothing to look forward to. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> it'll be good to have crossed it off the list there, Hoity J, you know? Yeah, no, fair enough, On to the next thing I don't like. When, I wonder when the second series is coming out. When are we Never. Next Never. year? Never. They came out today. They've decided they're not going to do another season. That's bullshit. No, they're doing two more seasons. No, no, they've canned it. Have they? Um, I flicked them in text. I said, oh, I you? wouldn't bother. Oh, okay. Oh, well, right, just yeah. I heard, this is could be wrong, that they are making two more seasons and everything that happens in the second Last of Us is happening in those seasons. Right. Which is Lullable. interesting. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. so pumped to find out. What I'm really excited about, and actually what I think I'm going to watch next is Succession. I'm oh gonna, yeah, when's it? I'm going to start it out? again. Oh right, because the fourth and final season is coming out in April. Yes, so I want to be able to know the whole story and blast into the last season. You're going to watch. Them I think all it's my favourite TV show. Ever. Good show for sure. Uh, succession ever? Yeah, I think so. Wow, I think it is. Except for Seinfeld. What about Wellington well, that's a Paranormal? Sort of, oh, the thing about it is Wellington Paranormal exists on its own plane. Right, right. A high yeah, plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what about and then uh, Seven Periods with Mr. Gormsby is up there as well. Um, Broken Wood. Um, Crowd Goes Wild from 2013 The episode to that I did of My Life is Murder. Yeah, that was um, so good. Two episodes of The Educator Season 3. Water Cooler. The Water Cooler, obviously. Coming Home in the Dark. Nah. Oh, because I'm not in that. Oh, I got yeah. cut. I was in there. I got cut. Right. By Scribe's brother. Unbelievable. Um, I watched Nope. Oh, you did? Did yes. you get all the way through it? Yeah. How was it? Good. Was it? Yeah. I liked it, actually. It was a bit different. Oh, it's different. Uh, D.O.P. there. Hoity McCoy. What does D.O.P. mean? Uh, Director of Photography. Right, okay. Cameraman, been throwing basically. that around a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah, Cinematographer. Yeah. Okay. Um, Hoyt Van Hoytmar. Yeah. Uh, he is related, actually. I've been on the basil, and I remember seeing that. Yeah, after yeah. After you sent it through, and then I was like, yeah. I yeah. So is his, on that one. is his last name Van Hoytmar? Van Hoytmar, yeah. And he's related to Hoyt you. Van yes, Hoytmar. he is. Yeah. But your last name's Hoyt. Yeah. And his last name's Van Hoytmar. Yeah, well, that's a Dutch thing. Oh, right. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So, But no, I enjoyed it, man. It was good. It was a bit different. It was a bit out there, and I can't I enjoyed that. It kept me... On my toes. Yeah. Um, which I liked. Yeah. Um, not amazing. Yeah. But good. Yeah, I mean, it was good. I think probably I was a bit distracted. Yeah, you yeah. You know what okay. I mean? Yeah, sure. Sure yeah. I do. What uh, did you watch, Cheesy? <laughs> dare I ask? Uh, we finished Educators, and then I let my wife choose what we watched next, so we started oh, watching a romantic... Did she use her... Um, did she use her card? Because you were saying that you make up a um, bunch of cards that she can play. She can play it once a month and she can choose a TV show. Did she play it? Yeah, no. What she, she chose? She did play it and she chose a romantic comedy series on TVNZ Plus called Flat Share. Oh, about a boy and a girl off. who at 8 o'clock at night, they share the same room and bed. And at 8 o'clock at night, she comes in, sleeps in the bed. 8 a.m. She has to have t- uh, left the flat and taken all the sheets off the bed and switched it back to his. And then they fall in love, apparently. By the different stains on the sheets. Yeah, yeah. 
So the good. The smell of the pillow. Yes. Okay. So good. What is it called? Flat, Flat share. share. <sighs> Marriage, eh? Yeah, man. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Well, there you go, all over for the week for the big show. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure bringing the show to you this week. Uh, and thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Make sure you check out our podcast over the weekend. Perfect time to do it. Yes. And also our Instagram account, um, Hodaki Big Show. There's a lot going on there. We want to get to 50,000 uh, viewers by the end of the end of the month, I think it is, isn't yeah. it, fellas? Yeah, Followers. Yeah. Followers. So yeah, what I say, yeah. viewers. Yeah, got got that wrong. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mogi, you're off to Wellington. Good luck with that, mate. Thanks, mate. Um, Keezy, you're off to a stag do. Good luck with that, mate. Thanks, mate. Um, Jace, what are you doing? Oh, just a bit of this, a bit of that. Good luck with that. Smashing a bit of tin. Douche, douche, douche. Yeah, man. Uh, basil? That sort of thing. Oh, maybe. Maybe. I'll bit see how I go. Yeah. Um, there's a little bits going on here and there that sort of... Maybe stop me from possibly yeah. doing it. So maybe not. Right, okay. Oh, but well. probably. Hey, listen, it's been a pleasure. You take care out there. Until Monday. See you later. Yeah.